Hello everyone and welcome back to the forest. There's been a new update, it is 0.07 and it adds something that I've wanted for a long time and that is tree houses. You can now build a tree house, I don't know how to do it, but apparently you can do that. You can also now wear lizard armor and there are two new animals a tortoise and a raccoon well not a tortoise and a raccoon multiple tortoises and multiple raccoons I don't know where they are what the hell what the hell am I doing I didn't I didn't I didn't mean to press this button but now I got a dead rabbit oh no how the hell did I pick up a rabbit the hell just happened is that a new feature can I pick you up no I can't pick you up eh, I can kill you maybe yeah there we go so apparently now, if you take this lizard skin armor and you go like this, and you go back to your- Look at that! Look at that thing there! You got lizard skin armor. Isn't that beautiful? It looks kind of like emo, you know? Looks like I just went shopping at Hot Topic, but I don't think I did. I think I, I think I just made that myself, yeah. I'm rugged and shit. Okay, I'm just gonna walk around, pick up a stick and a rock and a rock and a stick. And, uh, and if I find a rabbit, I'm gonna try and pick him up, because... Damn, that was cool. Not really, but like, you know. Hey, what are you doing here? Okay, rabbit. Rabbit. Amazing! You can do this! When did they put this in the game? I don't remember that being uh, that being mentioned. I'm looking over at the at the change log right now. I don't see it. But there was a whoosh sound added when items move around inventory. Imagine that. A whoosh sound. That is what the game really needed. Hello? Anyone here? I got a rabbit if you want it. Is this how you get the rabbits to put in the, uh, in the, in the machine? The rabbit holder? Okay, rabbit cage. Store live rabbits in a cage and watch them multiply. I did not know you could pick up rabbits. I am so behind on the times, guys. This has probably been a feature for a while, hasn't it? Pick up live rabbits, throw them in the thingy. I knew you could build one of these, but I always wondered how you actually got them in there. Now, all of a sudden, I have an epiphany, and uh, and I realize that you can actually pick the fuckers up. Oh, what are you? Is this one of those, uh, one of those cannibals again? Yeah, that's one of those uh, starving cannibals. Apparently, they also have a... Uh, a male version now. Do you hear this? Do you hear this music? They added new music to make fighting more more crazy. Okay, can you come down? Like this is unfair. We're not fighting on equal ground right now, both literally and metaphorically. So just could come. Where the hell did she go? Guys, I don't know how I feel about this music. It's making me feel really uneasy. I'm walking around picking up sticks, and I feel like I'm in a horror movie. But it, it, it disappeared. It's, it's not happening no more. So, so I'm over it. There. That looks like a shitty-ass rabbit cage. Can the rabbits not just run right out of it again? We're about to find out. Hey, you. You, Peter Cottontail. Come here. You are going in the... There it is. And C puts the rabbit in. Oh, what are you going to do, you little bastard? Huh? How are you ever going to get out of that thing? I have two rabbits. There are two things that I'd like to say about rabbits, okay? One... They definitely do like to hump a lot, and two, they will escape from anything. If they, if 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 you give them a low enough, um, a low enough cage, they will escape. This guy would totally jump out of there if he didn't like slip under it. I've seen my rabbits slip under some pretty small stuff. Okay, like they are like magicians. So that cage right there, that little quote unquote cage, is not gonna hold a rabbit. But if it works in this game, that's fine with me. Come here, you. When I come back. I better see a freaking mosh pit of rabbits, okay? And if I don't, I'm gonna kill each and every one of you. I feel like I'm gonna need to cut down some trees if I wanna build a tree house. So that's next on my agenda. And then, once we cut it down, we're gonna have a look and see where we can build a tree house. Small cabin. You can build a small cabin now. Amazing. But what about the tree house? I'm not gonna lie, I do like this whole, uh, Small cabin situation. Apparently it only needs 13 logs. That is a hell of a lot less logs. Because holy crap, putting 80-something logs on a cabin is not cool. You know how long that shit takes? I know how long it takes. Pretty long time. Oh crap. One of you people. I have one log left to put on my house. Don't test me today. You're starving. I'm going to assume you're not, uh, you're not high on health. There you go. Don't you dare get back up. I said don't get up. Here is the last log for our cabin. And Shazam. What the hell was that? That door went weird. Door? Oh, what? Worst door ever. Gotta put the door back in. Put it in. <laughs> okay, you know what? Forget it. Doesn't. <gasps> I accidentally killed a bird! No! 
I was just trying to sleep. Okay, there's a sleep button and a save button now, guys. Look at that. Press C to save. And Z to sleep. And now it's dark out. Um, hello. Good thing my cabin has a door, so you guys can't come kill me. Okay, I'm actually kind of scared. Like, I don't want this. Don't stick out your hand. What are you, waving to these guys? I don't think so. Put your hand down. I don't want birds. What was that? Okay, all right. The forest has creepy music now. What is that? What the hell is that thing? Hey, you. That is not how you climb a tree. I'm going to go back in here. I'm not going to pay any attention to the floating guy, and I'm not going to pay any attention to the people that are chasing me, trying to kill me. Oh, great. Now there's a floating guy over there. You floating guys just don't get lost, do ya? I have had it with this motherfucking man in this motherfucking tree. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I appreciate his persistence. He's been just hanging out up, up, in, up in the air for a while. Let me see if I can hit him. Come on. You know you can hit him. There we go. I got him. Now, what did I tell you? Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm sick of this shit. All I wanted to do was build myself a treehouse, but no. Of course not. There's more important things to do, like kill me. Okay. The good news is I found out how to build a treehouse. Right here. Look at this. Treehouse. A house for the trees. I'm going to have to run over there and place it real quick because there's people trying to kill me. Go in the tree. There we go. Look at that. That is a beauty. Overlooking the wreckage of an airplane. Now all I need to do is keep these guys away from me. Some of them have decided they're going to just uh, live in my house. And, uh, oh, look, listen, listen to this. The music is getting quieter. No, look at this. Dude. Oh, that's the starving cannibal. The starving cannibal just attacked the other cannibal while he was hanging out up in the in the air, just floating. Oh, now he's floating again. What are you going to do now, starving cannibal? Okay, he's going to keep attacking. So this is just an all-out war going on here with these guys. I'm not even going to be a part of it. I'm going to go over here and cut some trees. As long as I don't cut the tree that the, uh, the house is going to be built on, I'll be fine. Welcome to Matt Shea's official guide on how to cut down trees and make a treehouse. Step one, get an axe. Step two, left click a whole lot. Step three, build, build a treehouse. And there you have it. Your very own beautiful treehouse. How the hell do we get up in it? You just jump? Just, uh, just gonna... There we go, we got on it. I was really afraid that this wasn't gonna work. This is, this is a very weird way to get up a tree house. But we did it. We're up. Look at that. We're in a treehouse. We got our little cabin down there. We got a treehouse up here. And uh, and you can save and you can sleep. But I ain't going to make that mistake again. No, sir. No sleeping for me. Because when you sleep, everything gets dark. And then the cannibals come around and they try and stick their fists up your butt. Not into that today. We have two more things we need to address, though, before we finish this video. One, how are those freaking humping rabbits doing? And two, where the hell are the raccoons? Okay, the bunnies should be exactly where I left them, right over here, and there should be more than four bunnies. I have no choice but to kill you guys now. You didn't do what I asked. Ah! Okay, that didn't work. I'll just break your neck. And your neck's broke, right? No, he's still alive, damn it! Raccoon! Where are you, raccoon? I don't really expect to find a raccoon on the beach, but never say never, okay? I found a dead body on the beach. Good, I found an axe on the beach. Good, I can't pick it up on the beach. There, yes I can, I got it. Oh, this is great, guys. I've always wanted an invisible axe, and here it is. Let's try it out, shall we? Come on, hit me. Hit me, I got a fist, I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, she's running away. She is scared of my fist. You don't want to be fisted, do you? Huh? Too late. Too late, it's happening. Bam! Look at that. Bam! Punch you so hard, your body fell apart. Okay, guys, well, I've been wandering around for what seems like hours, but has actually been, like, I don't know, five or ten minutes, and I can't seem to find any raccoons. I don't know where else to look. I've found lots of birds, I've found lots of lizards, and lots of bunny rabbits. But those freaking raccoons just do not want to be found. So, I'm gonna have to end this video here, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of The Forest. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.